Welcome to the Mark Record News, I'm Renko Thoresiel and I'm kind of looking forward to Baldur's Gate coming out soon. Our top story today, something is giving me the creeps and it feels like a disturbance in the force. But okay, it's just, uh, it's gonna happen on the 22nd apparently, what's gonna happen on the 22nd? Oh, it's this one. It's, it's, it's Ashley. It's, 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 no, wait a second, what? Ashuritera, it's Ashuritera, guys. Ashuritera is coming back and she has a login story that is gonna be the same login story that you already know from the North American version. So guess what, guys? You can already read the North American login story and it's gonna be the same for the most part, probably. And yeah, you, for the for once, you don't actually need to wait for something to be translated. You can already read it. Isn't that amazing? But I assume there's gonna be like a slight change to it just to make it fit more into the rest of the entire story or whatever. Because there's a thing going on here, like an actual event, but before that, yeah, that, that's her. That's, that's Ashuri Teda. Ashuri Teda is right here. She's got, she brings her memoria and everything, everything that you know from the North American version. Now I need to, I need to give you guys the lay down on this version of Ashley Taylor because this is this is not the regular Ashley Taylor that you guys know from the North American version. She has been changed, right? A lot of people think that not in the North American version Ashley was way too fucking powerful. So uh, now that I've said that she's been changed, a lot of you guys probably are thinking, oh god, fucking, they nerfed her. They actually nerfed her to make sure that um, she wasn't going to be this powerful in the Japanese version, which, I mean, wasn't quite necessary because on the Japanese version, Blast Meta isn't really a thing, right? But it's okay, they nerfed her. Well, they didn't actually nerf her, they buffed her. Pretty hard, actually. She's actually way stronger than she was in the North American version, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. Although there, there is something in there that's a little bit worse, but I think for the most part she's actually better than she was on the North American version. So she got buffed. There are a bunch of changes uh, to her, so let's go, go down the stats. So we can see the stats right there. Um, the HP, uh, these are the four star stats, by the way, and the plus is what she's gonna get for Spirit Enhancement, right? So you can see the HP slightly higher, slightly higher than RNA. Uh, the attack is 8,100. Yeah, that's, that's like 1,100 more than it was on the American server. So he has like over 1,000 more attack. That's pretty good. So he's gonna have like 12.5 thousand attack with Spirit Enhancement, level five maybe, uh, on five star, I don't know. Uh, defense 6,500. Oh, 6,800. It's also slightly more. So yeah, she got a big, a, a bit of a boost to all stats, especially attack, because I guess on the Japanese server it's a lot more important to have a lot more attack. Uh, that's actually the most 2,500 from spear enhancement, about a thousand more from that. So it's like uh, it would be like 10,200. Like 12,700 attack maybe. I'm not quite sure exactly. Like the five star stats might be slightly changed as well. But yeah, that's different. Uh, a bunch of other stuff is different. The connect, so it gives blast damage up, it gives attack up, and it also gives charm. Wait a second, charm? That's that's weird. Let me let me, let me double check that with my notes. Yeah, yeah, that's charm right there. That's actually a charm. Um, yeah, because why? It, it used to dazzle before. Now it charms instead. Oh, that's weird. Although it might also be a mistranslation because charm and dazzle apparently are very very close in kanji, but. From what I saw, that the kanji are actually different from Dazzle. Like, these are the kanji for Dazzle, and this right here is, is different, it's Charm. This is apparently Charm, so she she doesn't Dazzle now, but she can stun an enemy, basically incapacitate them with Charm, which has got different uses. But overall, I said it's actually maybe slightly a nerf, because Dazzle, of course, uh, is really powerful, and more importantly, you bonus damage against light enemies if you're having, like, a dark team. Um, that's good, but, you know... Just in general, bonus damage against weak element because it's a level 2 status aiming, like even more than a level 2 status aiming. So you don't get that, but you can maybe stun the entire enemy team and like get extra turns. That's fine. Uh, so that's cool. Now the Magia. The Magia is very different. So over here, the regular Magia, it's kind of terrible. I think, I don't know if I said this back in the day, but yeah, her Magia is absolutely god awful. But it didn't really matter too much because she, she's a Blast Gorilla. How is she going to get Blast Godzilla? Sorry. She still is a Blast Godzilla, by the way. That doesn't change. Uh, so how, how is that going to be different, right? Um, so poison and dazzle for two turns, kind of terrible. The double and bomb for three turns, but now she has the following. It is actually quite different. Damage to all enemies, guaranteed charm to all enemies. Okay, so she charms all enemies. Cool. She gives blast up to herself for three turns. Hey, that's actually pretty good. And she gives herself ignore damage cut for three turns. Hey, that's that's, that's actually really cool. That's actually, that's actually a pretty good manga to have for a uh, Blast character. Uh, the, they didn't show the doppel, but they did say in the news that apparently the doppel 
is going to have yeah, it's going to have the duration the duration of all the buffs that I've just mentioned, like the blast up and the ignore damage card. It's going to be bumped up to five turns. Something that they've done for most characters recently, that they've just bumped up buffs from three to five turns or debuffs from three to five turns. But also, it also says that the blast up that you give to yourself instead is now also given to all allies. So if you're playing a blast team, yeah, that's pretty cool. However, of course, the question still remains, she's a blast controller, how is she ever going to get to Magia? Well, they've, they've, they've given us a little bit of SE here, and guess what, one of them is Blast Salutation 5, which means that she has at least 5 Blast MP. Which is as much as most other characters have. Um, I know that Yachimifu gets a bit more with uh, personal uh, memoria, but like mo for the most part, most characters that have Blast Salutation have around 5 um, Blast Salutation, so she has at least 5 in one node. Most other characters have it spread across two nodes. She has it in one, so she has a free spin husband nodes for something else. Okay. So, yeah, that sounds, that sounds pretty good so far. She can at least get to Magia in longer fights, but are you even gonna get to longer fights? Are you, are you gonna use her to farm? Guess what? The spin, yes, another spin husband node right here. <laughs> when the quest starts, I think it works in PvP as well. So, yeah, when, when any battle starts, Ashley Taylor gains a blast up seven which should probably be around 70%. She gives herself 70% blast up for the first five turns in battle. Mo most fights don't even last that long. Not even e Sometimes EX fights don't even last that long. If you're playing speed clears, people can clear e uh, 100 evils that last for five battles, uh, five waves in five turns if you like a super whale. This lasts for that entire duration, right? And not just that, she also gets damage cut 3. <laughs> she also gets 15% damage cut to herself um, for that entire duration. So these buffs are just for herself, but... This is, this is pretty, pretty fucking good for farming, dude. Uh, so in case you guys wondered, will she also be the patron saint of farming um, on the Japanese server? Yeah! She's a Blast Godzilla, which by itself would already make it the patent saying of farming, but she also gives herself like 70% blast up for the first, first five turns in battle and some damage cut if you're fighting against some harder enemies. She just farms everything now. She basically is put on the farmers. What do farmers wear? She's got a fucking. I don't, I don't know. She's got a pike. Not, not a pike. Um, yeah, she, she's got a, she's basically a farmer now. She, she bought a, a farm, she got a field, she put some crops down, she, she bought some horses, right? And she's just doing farm work on the farm, and what you what sprouts from that field? What sprouts from the field? It's the bunch, it's like a little bit of CC that you get for clearing the quest, but just like event, uh, event items, right? Uh, resources that you fight, uh, you try to fight for in other battles. Uh, house materials, if you f f do like Arc 2 battles for three months, I don't know. Whatever you want to farm, she's, she's the main farmer now, the patron saint. Okay, what else do we have in there? She's immune to the first debuff cast on her. Great! Guess what? Uh, someone has already pointed this out. Shout out to Hato. Um, this is actually really cool in Mirrors. Uh, she actually has some niche use in mirrors. First off, of course, the damage cut and the blast up are really cool for, you know, surviving and actually able to clean up. But also, uh, if a meteor rain is cast on you, the attack debuff goes first. And if you're immune to one debuff, the attack debuff gets countered and you only get hit by the defense debuff. And the attack debuff is the important part. So, if you play her in ranked mirrors or in a like, tournament, which is only something that Japanese uh, residents can do, uh, but if you were doing that, if you're playing in those setups and the enemy meter rains you, you don't worry about that and nothing really happens to you, which is, which is interesting. And what about her active though, because just that would make her interesting in mirrors, but here's another active. This active is actually cool in mirrors. It is ignore evade. Okay, doesn't, that doesn't matter too much. If you're a whale, you probably have special seed, and special seed already gives um, immunity to uh, like anti-evade. However, actually, maybe you don't want to play special seed, because guess what? Your special seed you use for... More, like, if you don't need the anti-evade from special seed, because you already have it with the active here, then you would probably still play it because it has a lot of blast up on it, but you already have so much blast up from your passive. Maybe she even has a blast up node uh, as well that we don't see here. So she is already close to 100%. So why even play Blast Memoria on her? Guess what? This is gonna be the thing. You don't actually play Blast Memoria on Ashley. I need, like, I need to actually see the entire spirit enhancement, but if there's just a single blast up node in a spirit enhancement, you don't want to play and blast up note on her. You probably don't even want to play, uh, like a blast up memory, I mean, you don't want to play uh, a connect onto her that gives blast up. You just play full on attack or maybe some damage up because you're capping, you're over capping on blast up just passively. Fucking amazing. But yeah, what's the other part of the active? Ignore provoke. <laughs> Soon as she's get BTFO'd. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> no provoke get, get Shrek so that she so yeah that's that's good would she still be was she, is she actually gonna be played in like most ranked mirrors teams no just gonna be like this wild card pick that some people might use just to troll but it could actually still get like s rank or something I don't know so yeah that's pretty fun um and yeah it's pretty cool isn't that cool Actually, this one just does something different. Wait a second, what did I read off? Yeah, no, I think this is fine. So yeah, this is, I, I've talked a lot about Ashley, but I know that there's not really much else to say. This is Victory Pose. The art has been slightly changed in all of this, all these instances, maybe because they needed to change them, like, legally. They couldn't just copy-paste it because stuff. Uh, Victory Pose is, I think, still the same. Still gives attack up and um, bind chance. By the way, about the, what is it? But a personal, this might be changed as well on Japanese. It might be doing something completely different. We have no idea. This is what it did on an NA. On Japanese, could do anything. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, if, they, they're calling it, they, they changed the name as well. It's called Consult the Closet or something. Uh, it's coming collection. Also gives defense down and blast damage. I think it's also the same. Yeah. Uh, also gives event drops. Wait a second, event drops? The login bonus. The login event story didn't have drops and stuff. Oh, wait a second. There's something else. Where is it? It's an actual event. She didn't get an actual event on North America. On the North America, it was just the login bonus. But get what? We guess what? She's getting an actual event this time. So yeah, like even if you played on North American server, even if you had a North American server, this is a completely fresh new event. You can see it also f uh, features Kokoro and Rui in there. She probably fits well together with Rui because Rui is a giant Juni, and I mean. She's not quite a Juni herself, but she's a weeb, and I guess that kind of goes in, this, in a similar direction. What's the event called? It's, I saw something like, where's uh, Ashley Chance? Where's the JP Horror? Because apparently there's some JP Horror. I don't, I don't, I don't know what, what that means, but apparently she's going around and she's looking for JP Horror. I don't know, you know. So yeah, it's a double farm tower. Sorry guys, it's a double farm tower. Um, but yeah, you get also... You can see some drop bonuses. This is the event shop memoria. Uh, it also gives some drop bonus, of course. Um, you get a. I think it says something in here. You get like a free star memoria, a free foster memoria for beating the event or something uh, along those lines. So sure. Um, was there anything else special in here? You know, I think that was about it. Uh, I think I think you can see that's kind of special background. Kind of special background. I don't know what this right here. It's it. Like this right here might either say it's a special background music that comes with this back with this background, or that it doesn't come with its own background. I we need to put that into Google Translate. You know what? Let's do that. Bonk. It will a special be gems. Let's try it. Okay, there we go. Um, so yeah, that's, looks, that's pretty good so far. It's a double farm tower. Some good stuff. I totally didn't forget anything. Yeah, it will have ex shunt quests. We'll actually have hundred evils as well. Let me check. It does not look like it's gonna have hundred evils. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Uh, yeah, but yeah, 100 EX was okay. It's EX. So, yeah, that was that was that's Ashley Taylor. I'm actually not quite hyped about this. Like, I, I mean, I'm st I'm looking forward to it. I might actually roll for her. I'm probably gonna wait to see what the next unit after this is gonna be. And if the next unit after this is something that I really don't actually care about at all, maybe I'll actually roll for her because having a really powerful farm is actually really nice for anyone to have. Um, but probably maybe like two slot. Two slot is probably be enough to farm most things. Um, so yeah. But there was one thing I wanted to say. Yeah, like I said, I was not, I'm not that hype about Ashley Taylor because I kind of thought that at some point probably she will come over in some capacity. Just a question of when. So I was like, I was a lot more hyped with the Sana alt because, I mean, they could have just never made a Sana alt. That was not something that we that was a given, right? Anyway, that's how guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit subscribe button, ring the bell. Still subscribe button. Oh my god, I'm talking too fast. I'll see you guys next time.